An ad fib. Nice. Wow, good job. Uh, dang thing shimmies a little bit. Wow, good and short. Checking out this 2015 amphibious uh, carbon cub here, just landed in Nevada County Airport, and it's got the Aeroset floats, 1500s? 1500s. 1500s. Yep. One of the big problems with amphibian float planes you see all the time in the news is folks landing in the water with the wheels down or in the uh, on the ground with the wheels up. Aeroset has a unique system here. Instead of getting green lights for gear down, you get brown light, brown lights for gear down on the land and blue lights for gear up for a water landing. You also get, through this uh, instrument up here in the instrument panel, you get voice commands that are linked to the landing gear such that when the gear is down and the GPS senses you're over ground, you get a man's voice saying, land landing, gear down. When you are coming in to land with the gear up, you get a woman's voice and blue lights indicating gear up, water landing. So great technical advances and an age-old problem of landing wheels down for a land landing and wheels up for a water landing. Cub crafters, good job, Aeroset floats. Because if you accidentally land on the water with your amphibious wheels in the down position, you will almost always instantly flip. These guys in this video were lucky to get out. The pilots in a recent crash in Sun River, Oregon, were not so lucky. The Aeroset system ties into your pedostatic system and uses an adjustable trigger speed for the carbon cub of 78 knots indicated airspeed to arm the system and 51 knots to trigger the system, the voice commands. Once the system is triggered, it will continue to alert you via the aural alerts until you press the correct cancel position for your landing gear configuration. You then triple check your landing configuration using the mirrors mounted on the wing struts, where you can see the wheels. So congratulations Aeroset for coming up with a relatively simple solution to an age-old problem. This departure from Nevada County Airport was done with a density altitude of about 5,000 feet and the folks at Cub Crafter claim that the performance of the floats only reduces the rate of climb by about 200 feet per minute. Cruise speed remains about the same as a carbon cub sporting 26 inch Tundra tires. All this performance is based of course on the 180 horsepower engine. Great job Aeroset for a simple solution to an age-old safety problem. It can be reached here in Priest River, Idaho. See you here.